This video is about applying properties of angle pairs to solving crook problems. So a crook problem is a problem that makes use of alternate interior angles, which are congruent and same side interior angles, which are supplementary. So what you're gonna do in this type of problem is you're gonna draw a parallel line through each crook, which is where the diagonals are intersecting with each other. Then you're going to work from the top down until you hit the line with the X. Then you're going to work up from the bottom until you hit the X, and then you're going to add those values together. So in number one, when I draw a crook problem here, I'm going to focus on the top first. So 112 and where I'm putting this blue dot. If I look at those angles, they are going to be same side interior angles. So I'm going to subtract from 180. And I get this is, a, is 68 degrees. Then, once I got to the X, now I'm going to go from the bottom. So 73 and the bottom part are alternate interior. So they are congruent. So they are both 73 degrees. So then X is going to equal 68 plus 73, which is going to equal 141 degrees. In number two, when I draw my crook problem, 41 degrees and the top of X are alternate interior angles. So they are congruent. So this is 41. The bottom angle and where X is are going to be same side interior. So I'm going to subtract from 180. And I get this is 42 degrees. And I'm going to add those together to get X. So 41 plus 42. X is going to be 83 degrees. In number three, when I draw my crook, I notice I don't have an angle here, but I can use 140 and vertical angles to get us 140 here. Now 140 and the top angle of X are same side interior, so they're supplementary. 180 minus 140 is gonna get us 40 degrees. 73 and where X is are alternate interior, so they are congruent, so that's 73. So X is gonna be 40 plus 73, which is going to get us 113 degrees. In number four, when I draw my crook through here, 34 and this angle are congruent because they're alternate interior angles. From 138 to the angle we need, those are same side interior. So when I subtract from 180, I get 42 degrees. Now, usually we add them together to get X, but in this case, the angle is X plus 12. So we're going to need to do a little solving. X plus 12 equals 34 plus 42. X plus 12 is equal to 76, so we can subtract 12 from both sides. And X is 64. Now, in 5 and 6, we have two crooks. So we're going to draw a line through each crook. We're still going to work our way to X. So 127 in this top angle are supplementary because they're same side interior. So we can subtract 180 minus 127. And we get 53 degrees. Now, if this whole angle is 80, I want to do 80 minus the angle we just found to get the bottom angle is 27. And then 27 and the angle by X are alternate interior. So the top part of X is 27 degrees. Then from the bottom to X, those are same side interior. So we subtract from 180 and we get 79. So X is 27 plus 79, which is 106 degrees. In number six, again, there are two crooks, so we're going to draw two parallel lines through our crooks. So 40 and the top of the right angle are alternate interior, so they are congruent, or sorry, is alternate interior, so they are congruent. Then if the angle is 90, we can do 90 minus 40 to get this angle is 50, which is an alternate interior with the top of X, so that is also 50. Then from the bottom to X, these are same side interior. So 180 minus 97 gets us 83 degrees. So X is 50 
plus 83, 113 degrees. In seven and eight, we have two crooks, so we're going to draw a, or three crooks, so we're going to draw one through each section. So 33 and the top of this angle are alternate interior. From the 64 degrees, we can take out 31. 33, and we get 31 degrees. 31 and the top of 76 are congruent. We can do 76 minus 31. That gets us 45 degrees. 45 and the top of this angle are congruent because they're alternate interior. We can subtract 85 minus 45. We get 40 degrees. And then 40 and X are alternate interior angles. So X here is going to equal 40 degrees. In number eight, when we draw our crooks, we have 139 and the top of this angle are same side interior. So 180 minus 139 gets us 41 degrees. And then we can subtract our larger angle minus the top and we get 17. 17 and the top of X are alternate interior angles. Then I can work from the bottom up. So 158 in this angle, our same side interior, we get 32 degrees. We can take that away from 89. We get 57. 57 in the bottom of X are congruent. So this is 57. So X is 17 plus 57, which would be 74 degrees.